Perhaps we are running out of fossil fuels. But ethanol, biodiesel, electric, hydrogen, and solar cars surround us with an array of solutions. And then, there is the solution that is literally all around us. The future of fuel, it's air. Think about a car that even runs on air. The air we breathe, the air that's for free. Only if we dare, only if we dare to imagine a future beyond anything that's available today. Science fiction novelist Jules Verne predicted that cars would one day run on air. Ironically, Francis Guy Negra just happens to share his birthday. Yes, Jules Verne was born on the same day of me. <laughs> and Monsieur Negra has created, yes, the air car. Fully functional prototypes of lightweight cars fueled completely by compressed air. We started out with a blank page and we tried to create a new car. A car that was nothing like the cars we were accustomed to. Something like 10 years ago, we arrived at the conclusion that doing some sport cars, some efficient cars, some consuming cars was not the solution. And that there is a real problem with petrol, there is a real problem with emissions. And we have to do something. My name is Cyril Negra and I'm working with my father since 1993. And we arrived at the solution that we can use compressed air. Imagine, it costs nothing, nothing to fill up your car with gas. That gas also happens to be the same gas that fills your lungs with every breath. The principle is simple. En fait, uh, tous les moteurs fonctionnent avec de l'air comprimé. Actually, all engines work with compressed air. Most engines suck it in, heat it up, it pressurizes and it pushes on a piston. In our engine, we pressurize the air first, so when we apply it to the piston, the piston is pushed. In this kind of engine, what we are doing, we are bringing the air with high pressure, and if you take into account the fact that you need to compress the air and to expand it into the engine, this is a whole system totally free of emission. Actually, the air car does have emissions. It's ice-cold, completely clean, highly breathable air. Imagine a fleet of air car taxi cabs in thermally challenged cities like Los Angeles or Mexico City, cleaning and cooling the atmosphere as they ferry people about. Obviously, compressed air isn't like carburation. It doesn't use combustion. Compressed air is an energy carrier. It has to be compressed and then it will restore and return what we gave it. For Guy, the motive behind his creation is philosophical. The question is not why. There is no reason. It's a logical process about creating movement. Our own ways to create movement. Movement powered by air, 200 miles on one tank, with speeds up to 60 miles per hour. You can fill it with an air station in three minutes, or you can plug it on a normal electric plug, and then using this alternator we have inside of the car, which is also an engine, you can drive the air engine as a compressor and fill the tank. We tried to create a car that is practical. So we made a utilitarian car, not full of bells and whistles. We needed it to be light as well, so we used composite materials, which also allow us to have a car that is stronger and better insulated. It's very light, of course, because our car has to be light. This is a frame just to glue the, the body on the chassis. This is a, a body glue, quite finished. You have some aluminum parts just here. That is part of the chassis. Strong, lightweight, practical. A solid cabin structure that carries compressed air tanks underneath to propel it. For some, it's hard to believe. Of course, uh, many septic is normal. In fact, it's always easier to be skeptical than to think in a positive way. But they can say whatever they want. I know my technology. Yeah, I know what there is inside. And I know the potential there is inside of this technology. More than potential, the air car is the real deal. The air car isn't cost free to operate because it does take some energy to compress air. But interestingly, MDI has created a generator powered by compressed air, which presents a tantalizing possibility. What if that generator was on board the car? Then one day, 
perhaps the compressed air that runs the cars will also run a generator to compress its own air. A car that runs on air and constantly refuels itself round and round. A perfect circle. Perpetual motion. A no-cost fill-up ever. Not one iota of pollutants ever. And a cute car. All for about $15,000. That's a future car. There are many who have left the gas can behind and explored the possibilities of propulsion without petroleum. These are the modern-day automotive heroes. Walking the road from gasoline to biofuels and hybrids. Electric cars with phenomenal acceleration. Clean and efficient hydrogen cars, solar cars, and even, as Jules Verne predicted, air cars. Take a deep breath. Follow the video story 